In this video, I am going to show you an updated version of eCout installation locally on your Windows laptop. I am not using any GPU and I am not using any cloud instance or any other uh, special thing. All I am using is my Windows laptop with around 16 GB of RAM and 100 GB of disk space. If you are not aware of what eCout is, I have done few other videos which I'll drop the link in video description. But just to give you a quick idea, eCout is a live transcription tool that provides real-time transcripts for both the user's microphone input, which is your input, and the user's speaker output, which is again your speaker in the text box. If you use OpenAI's API key and you would need it for it and you, it's a paid subscription so make sure that you have OpenAI API key from their website and you have uh, obtained the paid subscription. Once you have it, you're all set to go. Okay, now let me take you to my Windows system and I'll drop the link to this GitHub repo too in video's description. As a first step, Go to your Windows search box at the bottom left and type PowerShell. Now in this Windows PowerShell, right click and run as administrator. And now you will be presented with a PowerShell prompt. Let me make it a bit bigger and change the font so that you can see it properly. Just right click or uh, even left click on this one. And then we just need to click on properties font in the font size let's select with maybe 18 and bold click okay okay a bit better maybe a little bit bigger properties font let's go with 24 okay more than enough Okay, so first thing we need to do is to install Chocolaty or Choco in short. Chocolaty is a Windows package manager. It's ma it makes it very easy to install all the packages which you need in Windows. So let's go to this eCout GitHub repo and they have given a command here. So we'll just copy it, click here, and then just run it from the PowerShell after opening as an administrator. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. So there you go. Choco is installed. Maybe let's close it, uh, PowerShell window, and open it again because it's always a good practice. So I'll, I have closed it. Now this is our PowerShell run as administrator and wait for it to load. Okay, that's done. As a second step, we need to install Python. So just type Choco, install, and th the command for it is Choco install dash y and Python 3. Press enter. And it is going to install Python 3 for you. Let's wait for it to finish. Python has been installed. Quickly check its version by typing Python dash dash version. It says that it was unable to find Python, so maybe Python 3. Okay, so we need to put it in the path, I guess. Let me put it in the path. Okay, but before I put it into the path, maybe I just need to restart PowerShell. So let me first try it out because normally it becomes part of path automatically if not then we will add it to the path but that's fine uh, it is all we needed to do is to close the powershell and restart it as an administrator and now python is installed let's clear it as a next step what we need to do is to make sure that we have um, ffm pack installed so just type choco install dash y ffm pack enter and this takes a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish there you go so ffmpeg is also done 
let's close the PowerShell again and reopen it and then right click here run as an administrator until this point all the prerequisites are done now clone the ecout repository here so git is not installed so we need to install git so choco install dash y git so this is a beauty of choco you don't have to download and install it manually just do choco install git and it will install the git let's wait for it to finish So you can see that git is installed let's close it again and again open the powershell as an administrator that's cool now let's try out git clone sorry let's try the git clone first and then we will install it this is, so this is a git clone i just need to copy this command from the repo and go back here Okay, there you go. That's good. Now cd to ecout directory. And now pip install dash r requirement.txt. Let's see if pip is already there. Pip is there. And it is going to install all of the requirements which are in this GitHub repo. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay. Now let's see what it says it says dist utils is not present so let's install the dist utils first whenever you are faced with these sort of issues first always try to install with choco and if choco fails then install it manually in the window so i'm just trying it out with choco okay so you can see that uh, choco was unable to find it now we have to install it manually and before I install the disk util manually, let me first upgrade the pip because sometimes this also causes an issue. And the command to do that is this python dash m pip install that dash dash upgrade pip. Let's wait for it to run. Let's wait for it to finish and then we will rerun our requirement.txt. That's cool. And now let me run this requirement.txt again. Hopefully this should fix the issue. If not, then we will look at some other options. Let's wait for it to see. Okay, so same error. Now let's check about this dist utils. So let's try to install it with this util dash by test manually with it. Let me run it. And let's wait for it to get finished. That's finished, and I am running that requirement.txt again to see. If that fixes it's still not fixed let's try again okay I was able to fix that error by just installing this setup tool let me quickly show you let's scroll down and these are all the tries I have made so far there you go the problem here is that I'm using Python version 3.12 whereas that this tutorial has been deprecated in 3.10 so either you need to use a previous version of this tutorial or you need to install this setup tools. So once I installed the setup tools, I, it was able to work and I didn't get that error. But as is the case, there you go. So Python dash m pip install upgrade setup tools, it installed it. So that error went away, but I have a new error. Let's check what exactly that error is. So if you come down, this is saying that module pkg util has no attribute so it seems that most of these errors are due to the fact that i'm using a recent version of python so instead of fixing all of these packages let's downgrade my pack python package to 3.9 because if you look at this ecout it says that prerequisites are python 3.80 so let's go with 3.9 and first I'm going to uninstall the Python. So I'll just say choco uninstall Python dash y. I think y dash y will be here. Okay, so maybe it's Python 3 then. That's good. Now it is uninstalling it. 
and that is good now let me first close it and reopen the powershell so that i am going to run it as editor and i am going to install the 3.9 for that what i am going to do i am just saying choco install dash y this is install dash y python 3.9 let's see press enter it says python 3.9 is cannot be found let me find the exact package name for python 3.9 so this is a correct command to install that so it is choco install python dash dash version 3.90 press enter that's good it is installing now let's wait for it to finish just type capital y here and it is going to install the latest uh, the 3.9 version of python and i know the video has become a bit longer but i want to do it like this hit and trial uh, so that if you are facing the same issues you would be able to fix it as i'm doing it instead of a clean cut video so python is installed let's close it and reopen the powershell run as administrator and let's check the python dash dash version okay now it is better now um, we al already have installed ffmpeg let's go to ecout directory and then uh, the command was let's go down and make sure we are doing it like this requirement.txt and run it here much better than before it seems let's wait for it to run i let it run instead of pausing the video and this is going to install a lot of things as you can see almost done i believe that's good let's wait for it to finish okay so you can see that it is installed now and now let's go to this directory see users administrator ecout and this is my ecout directory here right click new and text document just call it um, like this sorry the file should be keys.py or py so let me change me first let me go here and paste this open a underscore api underscore key and replace it with your own api key let me put my api key here i'm going to pause the video to put my api key so i have saved the key there now let me rename this file right click rename and just call it keys.py and remove this dot txt yes that's good now let's go back here now we can run our ecout um, program all the prerequisites and installation are done by this point in order to run it you can run it like let me first clear the screen now type python main.py in the same powershell and dash api you can omit this dash, dash api but the speed won't be quick then and as soon as you press enter this will start the account on your local system if everything is fine okay now we have this error now let's fix it it is saying attribute error none type object has no attribute close so just to double check let's remove this maybe it is a whisper api okay same error cool let's fix it now so if you look at this error what it is saying is that audio source must be entered before adjusting so ecout installation is successful at this point but what is happening is it is unable to find your mic and speaker on your system and i have purposefully disabled it to show you this error because a lot of people have complained about this so in your bottom left just search for sound settings click sound setting and you can see that no output device found and no input device found so no speaker no mic now you need to make sure that you fix this and only then ecout will work.
because as soon as you start eq out it starts uh, emitting that data or noise to your mic and speaker so make sure they are enabled and they are detectable so this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and uh, this is how you can install the eq out and i have shown you all the errors which i have faced during the course of it and hopefully you would be able to run it on your own system now if you are still facing any issues or errors other than what i have shown you please put them in the comments and i will try to help you out thank you very much i hope that was useful and enjoy the eq out thank you very much